Welcome to the full guide on how to become an HVAC technician. In this video, I'll walk you through every step you need to take, from your first move to becoming a skilled and certified professional in the HVAC industry. Let's get started. Here's what we'll cover in this full guide to becoming an HVACE technician. First, we'll help you understand what HVAC actually is. Then we'll go over the basic requirements you need before starting. Next, you'll choose the right training path that fits your goals. We'll also talk about the essential skills every technician needs to succeed. After that, we'll discuss how to gain practical experience on the job. Then we'll guide you on finding your first job or even starting as a freelancer. And finally, we'll wrap things up with a quick summary checklist to keep you on track. Let's dive into the first section. Understand what HVAC is. Half HVAC stands for Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning. These are the systems that keep buildings comfortable by controlling temperature, airflow, and humidity. HVAC technicians install, maintain, and repair systems that control indoor temperature and air quality. Their job is to make sure heating and cooling systems work properly, whether it's fixing a broken AC or installing a new furnace. These systems are used in homes, offices, malls, hospitals, factories, etc. Almost every building you enter depends on HVAC systems. That's why this career is always in demand. The work includes electrical, mechanical, and refrigeration systems. To do this job, you need to understand how all these systems work together and be able to work with different types of tools and technologies. Meet the basic requirements. Have a high school diploma or equivalent. This is the minimum education needed to start most HVAC training programs or apprenticeships. Have basic math and physics knowledge. You'll use math and physics daily to understand things like airflow, pressure, and electrical systems. Be physically fit, as the job involves lifting and working in tight spaces. HVAC work can be physically demanding. You might need to carry heavy equipment or crawl into small spaces. Be willing to learn technical and hands-on skills. Success in HVAC depends on your ability to learn both theory and practical skills and apply them in real-world situations. Choose a training path. There are three main paths. These are the common ways to start your HVAC training journey. You can choose the one that fits your goals and situation best. Technical or vocational school. These schools offer structured programs that teach both theory and hands-on skills. It's a good option if you want formal education with practical labs. Apprenticeship. This path lets you learn on the job under experienced technicians. You'll earn while you learn and build real-world experience from day one. Short courses or certifications. If you're looking for a quicker way in, short courses and certifications can teach specific HVAC skills. These are useful if you want to upgrade your knowledge or focus on certain areas. Develop essential skills. Technical skills. Electrical wiring and controls. Understanding how to connect and troubleshoot electrical components is a key part of any HVAC job. Refrigeration and air cycle systems. You need to know how cooling and heating cycles work to diagnose and fix problems effectively. Tools and meter handling. Using HVAC tools and measuring devices correctly ensures safety and accuracy in your work. Brazing and pipe work. These skills help you join copper pipes and handle refrigerant lines with precision. Duct design and insulation. Knowing how to design and insulate ducts improves airflow and energy efficiency in buildings. Soft skills. Communication with clients. You'll often speak with customers, so clear and professional communication is important. Problem solving and diagnosis. You need to quickly figure out what's wrong and fix it. That's the heart of HVAC work. Time management. Staying on schedule helps you complete jobs efficiently and take on more work. Safety awareness. Working with electricity, tools, and chemicals means safety must always come first. Gain practical experience. Work as a trainee, assistant, or intern with experienced HVAC professionals. This means starting at the beginner level and learning directly from those already working in the field. You'll observe how they diagnose issues, install systems, and handle tools. It's one of the best ways to build real confidence. Practice on real ACs, 
chillers, furnaces, and refrigeration systems. Don't just stick to theory. Get your hands on actual equipment. The more you practice with different systems, the better you'll understand how they work in real-world conditions. Try working on both residential and commercial units to diversify your experience. Residential systems are common in homes, while commercial units are found in bigger buildings like malls or offices. Learning both gives you a broader skill set and more job opportunities in the future. Find a job or start freelancing. Options include HVAC companies. These companies specialize in heating and cooling services and are always looking for skilled technicians to join their team. It's a great place to start and gain stable full-time experience. Construction firms. Many construction companies hire HVAC technicians to install systems in new buildings. You'll often work on large projects from the ground up which can help you understand system layouts and installations better. Government buildings. Public institutions like schools, hospitals, and government offices also need regular HVAC maintenance. These jobs can be steady, long-term, and often come with good benefits. Freelancing or starting your own repair business. Once you have enough experience and tools, you can start taking on jobs independently. Freelancing gives you the freedom to choose your clients, set your own rates, and eventually build a full HVAC business. Summary. Checklist. Finish high school. This is your first step. A diploma or GED is usually required to begin any formal HVAC training or job. Join training or apprenticeship. Whether you choose a school program or an apprenticeship, this is where you'll learn the core skills needed for the job. Get tools and experience. Start practicing with real tools and equipment. Hands-on experience is essential to becoming a confident technician. Apply for jobs or start freelancing. Once you're trained and ready, begin your career by joining a company or take the freelance route if you prefer working independently. Keep learning and specialize. HVAC is always evolving. Stay updated, take advanced courses, and consider specializing in areas like refrigeration, automation, or energy efficiency.